As a leader, should you step up or sit on the sidelines when personal conflicts flare and affect your group's effectiveness? If you're truly a leader, you'll look for ways to settle the issue before the two warring factions sink all ships. First, ask for an invitation to help. For the most part, people really don't like others to intervene without permission. But if they seem incapable of coming to resolution, mention that you've noticed a difficulty on an issue or a project and then give them a choice with a question like this. Do you think you can solve this matter by X date or before such and such situation happens, before we need to present this to a client, or do you need an outside objective person to help? And then refuse to take sides. Make it clear that you intend to work with both people. Point out that you may speak with them separately, but you're going to be upfront about the fact that you'll pass along information that each of them tells you, that you just want to clarify misconceptions. And then pass along compliments or complaints between the two people. Sharing positive remarks adds credence to any negative comments. Your goal is to help each person see the merits in the other person's viewpoint. And then point out misconceptions or preconceptions. Your key task will be to identify and point out wrong information, invalid assumptions, uh, misjudged intentions, inappropriate and incorrect conclusions. When things stall, remind them of their common goal. Ask the other person or each person to suggest their own solutions to the situation without injecting your own agenda. And then create opportunities for them to keep the lines of communication open. Look for ways to have them interact positively with each other on occasion, of course, not for long durations, but just for short projects, short durations of time. You'll be seen as the pivotal person who can hold those sparring factions together to complete uh, and more important, significant work. While few people like to deal with conflict on their own, much less take on conflict between coworkers or staff leaders, you'll know that that's simply part of the path to success. What other techniques have you seen work? Add those in the comment section below.